Mm. 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 <laughs> it's snack time. What's up, my keto friends? And you know who you are. I'm Byron Dice. And I'm Susan Dice. And welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to live a simple keto lifestyle and other keto related topics, you can start now by clicking that subscribe button and clicking the little bell so you don't miss anything. And on today's video, it's all about the snacks. I'm talking Little Debbie, uh, Twinkies, those bear claws you get at the gas station. Ding dongs. Those what? Yeah. No, no, no. Bear claws. Ding dongs. The uh, little hostess. Nope. Anything with little Debbie. Come on, dude. Snacks. I'm talking snacks. That's because, what we grew listen, up on. That's what we grew up on. Listen. And grew up on. Listen. If you know what I mean. Even though you're not supposed to snack because this uh, keto regimen, we all know you're going to snack because we snack. Especially okay? in the beginning. Right, because you get those cravings and you just want to go for that little Debbie snack cake. The one that's got the white icing and that drizzle thing on the top. What dongs, right? are you talking about? Anyway, oh yeah, the bear claws, the danishes. That's the what we're talking about Danish. today. That was the voice. That's what we're talking about today, right? Nick in the microwave for like a few, okay, stop. Yes, so that's what we're talking about. So mm -hmm. Susan's going to show us, you know, the little Debbie snack cakes and The all little that. Debbie snack cakes of keto. How about that? Oh, Not really? really. Oh, we're not doing a little Debbie? I thought that's, we could snack stop, on that. Stop, just stop. We can't? Just stop. Stop what? Okay, so So today, what do we do if we can't have the bear claw at the gas station? We're gonna talk about keto snacks. Not little Debbie, oh. not any other female, Miss Edwards, Miss whatever. Oh yeah, what about um, Mrs. Dash? Let's start with, since you're talking about candy kind of sweetness, we'll start with these. These okay. little things right here. There, you can hold that one. All right, I'll hold this. Okay. And we, there's another one too that we buy, which is the caramel cup. So we can peek this on is that. little fat bombs. I hope it's focused. And look, I'm gonna tell you, anything that you buy like this is gonna be expensive. It's called a fat bomb. I think it's 12 for like $8. And people like that. First, no, twelve for nine dollars. First, think of fat bomb. Like, oh, this is a bomb, and I'm about to get fat because <laughs> I'm eating chocolate. They're they're doing keto. They know. Okay, so this one's peanut butter really. cup. This one is chocolate mint cup, and this, this one one's is caramel nut clusters. The one the kids fight off, fight over the most. Yeah, yeah caramel nut clusters. It's almost like what, what are the what turtles. are those things? Yeah, like turtles. like turtles. Yeah, they're really good, yeah. and they're only two net carbs per one so they're really good and uh, you know slim fast usually Two all the other carbs. stuff i don't do any of the other slim so fast if you stuff. were to snack all day and not eat a regular meal and get below 20 carbs you could have yeah let's don't do that how many of those ten of, them. Let's don't ten of those babies you know what i'm saying okay and then this right here yummy deliciousness it's backwards this is oh thanks <laughs> they're not sponsors of the show <laughs> No, this is Sam's Club. Anyway, Par so. Parm. It's Parm Crisp. Parm Crisp. Made out of um, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. We have, and they also have Wisp. That's a cheese one too. Yeah, Wisp. This one's Moon Cheese. Look, this is like. Oh, wait a minute, I haven't tried this. I don't know how much that is. This one's like nine dollars. Oh, that one's like five bucks, I think. Wait a minute. Or something. Pepper Jacked. Oh, and it says get Pepper Jacked. This one's this one's crunchy bites of burning desire. This one's like nine point five ounces, so you're looking at a dollar per ounce for Man, that. I gotta get into this right now. Hold on. And so instead, you can make your own at home, which is what we've done, and we're gonna show you how to do it. Wait a minute. Make what? The parm chips? Yeah. We've chips. done that. Crispy chips. Yeah. I thought we were making. I thought those were cheese chips. That's what we were making? Well, we made it out of pepper jack cheese. Oh, wait a minute. This. Mm, wait a minute. Mmm. Mmm. That's legit right there, dude. We're going to show you how to make... Moon cheese. Cheese chips from home. Okay. So we're going to show you how to make cheese chips from home. Mm -hmm. Right now? Mm hmm Oh, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that was fun. The and magic of video. And fast. Okay. Um, I can't believe how those, how the, how This one's they Pepper bake. Jack. Pepper Jack. Mm hmm So on the video, you guys saw how this was made. Hear the crunch? Oh, wait. I just lost it. Mm-hmm. Mm, wait a minute. I like these better than the moon. Wait cookies. a minute. These are way better. I like them better. I'm gonna put this down. Mm. Okay, and then this I'm is. I'm gonna the... get fat here on the show. I mean today. Dude, and let me just say, wait a minute. Snacks are dangerous. Wait a minute. That was a mm. little got a little chew in it. That was a little chewy. And you get a little schmaltz that just flew <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm a little yeah. You gotta watch out for the uh, collateral damage. I didn't cook those as long, so they have a little. Yeah, you know, there's a little, in the middle. Yeah, there's a little shit. But those um pepper jack. Mm. Mm-hmm. Bing! Legitness. Okay. And this is always a favorite. And this is Susan's favorite. And these are so good. Pickles. Pickles. What is it? It's um it's Grillo's pickles. Grillo's fresh pickles. They're um no carbs. And of course everybody knew that pickles, you could just, you know. Oh wait, it says one carb. I don't know how Probably because it had something in it. Anyway, these are very, very delicious, and you can pretty much eat the crap out of these. Pickles, yeah. Yeah. No brainer, pickles there. If you like pickles. Byron's a pickleaholic. I like those. I don't like the other kind of, what's the ones that you like? The, I like Vlasic. Vlasic. Vlasic original deal, not the koshers. Okay. I don't like people praying over my food. I don't know. That was a joke. And here's a couple of things that people like for snacks. Not me. Okay, I, I've not tried these sardines. Like, these nope. are all the rage. Or the with, rave. With keto. Like, a I lot of people eat ways. these because they're very healthy for you, supposedly. I haven't eaten them, so I just got them yesterday. As to, um, we're going to have to try them. It says them. King Oscar. I don't know if that's a real yeah, name Yeah, sardines. Not. I mean. Is that the fish's name or I'm the guy that caught the fish? But if you like sardines, this is a great snack. Nobody cares. Now, this right here, this is my jam. This is smoked oysters. And I pop a can oh, of those gosh. open. Nibble, nibble, nibble. I love them. They're so good. They're so tasty. Wow. And I hear they're good for a lot of things. I'm just saying. You're talking about for nope, uh, good skin? Nope. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, Please and also... Me. This right here, and see these are, this is dangerous too. We've got walnuts. Walnuts. We've got macadamia nuts. You got almonds. You got cashews. From what I understand, you probably want to stay away from them because. Because it has the highest carb. And also they're kind of, I think like a bean. They're more like a bean what? than a nut. Um, so they have like some kind of something. I don't I've know. I've heard this Watch macadamia is, is the, best these are the best nut to snack on that has the highest protein count and the highest fat. Hey, you know what? Chicken and butter? you can, not that, you can get this right here. Oh yeah. Lily's, Lily's chocolate chips. These are amazing. Nine grams of carbs, four grams of fiber. So five grams of carbs. No, two grams of carbs because the erythritol is three. So two grams of carbs for 30 chips. This, is 30 chips a nice and she does a lot of snack. baking with with these mm -hmm. i keep spitting moon cheese up you could everywhere. you could melt these and macadamia and chocolate mm -hmm. which would be uh in addition to this here's lily's chocolate not chocolate just lily's chocolate which they've used to cover almonds, almonds. which you could do the same thing with the macadamia nuts because those are a little more expensive because these right here how much were those you got them at Sprouts. oh i don't know i just grabbed them and ran okay. well these are like not even four dollars i don't think at you can get these at Walmart. They have them at Walmart. Um, a lot of this stuff already that I've said, you can't get that at Walmart. You can get this only at Sam's, but you can get Parm Crisp anywhere. Okay, next we're going to talk about one of Byron's favorites. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. He likes pepperoni, like just eating it straight out of the bag. Yeah. But we're going to show you how we made these little jewels. Oh, yeah. Pepperoni chips. Hold up. We'll be right back.
and those red. We already showed them the chips, right? Yeah, and it's like about, you probably want to keep them in the oven 350 for about eight minutes. Yeah. Or just watch until they start. They like literally slide across mm. with all the grease. They slide across the tray. Right. Okay. That's and she okay. showed you. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Okay. What and do we got next? We can't do keto without snacks, without these bad boys. Pork skins. Pork skins. Of course, if anybody's been around the low carb diet over the years, Atkins, if you've been around that diet, you know pork skins was a big thing with that. Yeah. Because um, you could eat the Wahoo out of bacon. The Wahoo? Yeah. Okay. Or the wazoo. And this is what a lot of people will buy. And it kind of has a lot of like not really good stuff in it um, to like put on there. So mm -hmm. I get this. Oh, this stuff's amazing. White cheddar powder. I'll just get a spoon and just tear it up. It's very, very clean eating. But I won't tell Susan that. <clears throat> it's very clean eating. For one tablespoon, it is three grams of carbs and so what i do is i buy one of these i put about three tablespoons of this in here shaky 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 and it is so good kids love it like and guys we're i'm telling you everything you see here everything we're talking about my kids eat this it's not something that they get different snacks than we get this is stuff that they get to eat as well and Hello. it's good for them you got you a know? base um oh something we didn't mention with uh, we were talking about lilies earlier. Also, yeah, bring those up. Also, a little, little expensive, but if you want to uh, curb that chocolate, Snickers, Hershey's, whatever chocolate craving you get at the gas station, this right here will do it. Mm -hmm. This is salted almond milk chocolate, and this is salted caramel milk chocolate. Now, if you're a fan of dark chocolate, they have a ton of varieties for dark chocolate as well mm -hmm. i'm not a big fan of dark chocolate susan's not either however they do have the milk chocolate version of these candy bars and they are delish and they have how many carbs do oh they? uh i don't know oh. about 500 uh no they have um a higher net i mean a higher uh carb count um, because there's 11 grams of fiber and there's six grams of erythritol. So that's 17, that's five grams of carbs. So you're looking at five grams of carbs for, um, they're half of the bar. That's not half bad. The bar. And I so mean, normally what I do is I just kind of, I kind of take off a, whatever you call that. Is it a divider? Where, where do you, where do you, what do you call that? Where, where do you take it off from? Where's the uh, stash? I do keep you, it in my underwear drawer. He does. He keeps us in it because... Which, you know, that's a personal preference. Because the kids. Yeah. Yeah. We sneak Lock the door. The Don't tell the kids. Right. Okay. Oh, also, uh, okay. Lily's has this wonderful... In addition to the keto, there's this... That's from Slim Fast, the uh, keto fat bombs. Lily's also makes a peanut butter cup as well. And it's so good. It's just as good. Oh, and you know what I do, guys? Lily's peanut butter cup. And I actually enjoy this peanut butter cup better than the... The, the slim, slim fast because it's just creamier mm -hmm. and I'm all about the cream. You know what I do? Like when we go to a restaurant, my mom does not eat keto. I'll show you. <laughs> what happened? We went to a restaurant went, today. This is what she got. That That's called a carrot cake. Carrot cake. cake. So she buys this. She some peep game on that? Yeah. And guess where you got that from? The old full moon. Which it's not everywhere. So anyway. What, carrot cake? No, full moon. It's not everywhere. Oh, you're saying like the, our friends in China that right. are watching this video don't have a right. full moon. <laughs> so anyway, mm. I take one of these in my purse. Yeah. So after dinner. Just pop pop one in. This is my dessert. Dessert. And it and it and it's good. I like it. We I, we did that the other night. We went to Saltgrass. You're right. Um, she got another piece of carrot cake there. I had one of those. I only had one, and Byron didn't know. I had it stashed in my purse, and he's like, where did you get that? Yeah. So, I mean, anyway. Snuck it out. Yeah. Um, Quest. So, these are our dirty. These are our dirty keto things. Yeah, these are dirty ketos. And, and Why are they dirty? Because they're packaged and processed. Well, the are they Lily's, processed? Lily's. Lily's is too. So, this but is all dirty keto snacks. Not all of it, but a lot of it is. Because like the pepperoni, well, well the pepperoni is really too. I don't feel as dirty because <laughs> if I'm under 20 carbs, right? I, I don't, and and it's healthy for my my blood. Right. I don't I don't feel like I'm dirty. 
Right. I mean, this is this is my cheat stuff. This is what I cheat with. If I'm gonna cheat, right. I, I cheat. Right. Most people would cheat on a carrot cake. Yeah. From Saltgrass. Yeah, I don't. Or a Snickers bar, or that bear claw at the gas station. Yeah, this is the Lilies, and these are like our cheat things. Quest bars. Well, this is not Byron's cheat thing because you, you like literally have one of these. I'll have, the, I'll have this for lunch. I don't. I don't. I have this, and it's still below my carb count. Oh, but let me tell you what chocolate I do. Chocolate brownie, chocolate chip cookie dough. We've got birthday cake, and it does taste like a birthday cake. I'm That's sorry. So good. Cookies and, and cream. Cookies and cream, chocolate sprinkled donut. Okay. And so, I'll, there's no, I was going to say there's no, um, I want to say there's no limited supply, but I didn't know how to bring that all together. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to do a video, which is just going to be a simple short video, but I'm going to show you guys what I make for my kids for breakfast. Because like in the other video, put it up there, um, yeah, where a, we went yeah, to Aldi. There. And I showed you the difference in yogurt, where you can actually have yogurt on keto as long as you read the back of, you know, the ingredients and the carb count. I take that, I mix uh, cake batter flavoring in cake it. Cake batter. And erythritol, mix it up. Sweetener. Put this, chop it up into little pieces, put it in the toaster oven, toast it. It's like granola. And I sprinkle it on the kids' yogurt and a little bit of Lily's and they chocolate love chips. It. They love it. They ask for it almost every single day. And I never get any. Sorry. Okay. What's next? The next thing we're gonna talk Puppy about Joe? is this bowl of deliciousness. We call. I, I, well, let me see if we can get a. Wait, hold up, hold up. I want to get one. Okay. Well, well, we were snacking on this at the beginning. I'm not sure if you got that. Mm. Tilt it. You can't tilt it more, can you? That's good. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, see, we, people call this puppy chow. What it's normally made, they actually call it, I guess. Actually, there's a secret buddies. ingredient in here and we're gonna tell you what that ingredient is in right after this because we're gonna show you how to make it right now. Okay, for this recipe, we need four tablespoons of butter, an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, three tablespoons of sweetener. I'm using erythritol, fourth of a cup of coconut oil, and one fourth of a cup of peanut butter. And first we're gonna put the butter in the pan. Guess what the secret ingredient was. If you can guess what it was, put your answer down in the comments and let us know what you think the secret ingredient ingredient was for the puppy chow. So I can't tell them? Oh, you want to tell them? Yeah, I want to tell them. Really? You can tell us if you knew, but this is, believe it or not, this is pork skins. Mm hmm And it's just, it's so weird. I never in a million years thought that I would do this. Mm. You know, normal. I'm telling you, that's my favorite here on this whole thing right here. Normal Muddy Buddies. I'll eat the whole bowl. Normal Muddy Buddies Sorry. or Puppy Chow is made with Chex Mix cereal, peanut butter, chocolate. Um, what else? Do they put nuts in them? No. No, no it's just no. Chex Mix. Mm -hmm. It's just peanut butter and chocolate and sweetener. Oh, and the, and the white stuff. Yeah, that, goes, on that, that goes on that last. And that's what I was going to say. In the video, you didn't see me do the vanilla, but I did get it in there. And um, three and a half ounces of pork skins. That's how much you use. Three and a half ounces to all of the other ingredients that we put in. 
Um, also, you also increase. Make sure because I don't think I did this on the video. Make sure once you spread the pork skins out on the um, cookie sheet, put it in the freezer for a few minutes because at first I put the sugar on it and it just kind of went and melted. Yeah. And so we threw it in the freezer, then threw it in a bag, and it was perfect. Awesome. And they're delicious. They're so good. They're so good. I know it sounds so weird and it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe somebody would put chocolate and peanut butter on top of pork skins. But I promise you, it's so good. Just try it and you, right. you, you won't believe it. Are we, are, have we been deceived? We just think this is good and it's really not. Because this is all we got now. My mom doesn't like keto and she mm. ate one last night and she's like, mmm. Boom, there it is, folks. Yeah. And the kids. The mom. The, the yeah. mom. If the mom likes it, it's, it's past the, the keto, keto hater. Test. Right. The keto hater. The keto hater. It. Yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. No, wait, you should have already subscribed. Just like, share, and comment, and all that no, fun stuff. No, but that one person, they didn't, they're not, they're not a subscriber. They didn't. All right. So, a lot of people come here and just watch the videos without subscribing. Please subscribe, because I'm not going to beg. Sorry. <laughs> And until next time, remember, don't fall off the keto wagon. Oh, I like that. What? No. <laughs>